Hello, I'm Sarah from Worldwide Lawyers and today I'm going to be talking about how to deal with a Spanish estate. So this guide will be helpful for anybody who's dealing with a Spanish estate where there's property in Spain that is covered by a Spanish will. For those um, looking for information about dealing with a Spanish estate where there's property in Spain and no Spanish will, we'll cover this in a later video so look out for that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is instruct an English-speaking Spanish lawyer who has experience dealing with inheritance matters. If you're able to instruct someone who has experience dealing with cross-border inheritance matters, then even better. So the first thing that the lawyer is going to need from you is uh, the death certificate. And if the deceased person died outside of Spain, then the death certificate is going to need to be translated if necessary, uh, and it will need to also to be legalised. Now the process of legalisation means that uh, the Hague apostille will be applied by the Foreign Office on the document, which then means it's available for use in Spain. Um, if you need any more information about the legalisation process, contact the Foreign Office who will be able to explain this to you. So once the death certificate has been legalised, you'll need to provide that to your lawyer, who will then be able to use that to obtain the original Spanish will from the Spanish notary where it was signed. And they can then obtain various certificates from uh, banks, and building societies or whoever where there were uh, accounts held in the deceased's name. Uh, so once all these have been obtained then all these documents will be presented to a Spanish notary uh, together with a deed confirming acceptance of inheritance signed by the beneficiaries. Uh, at that point then the inheritance taxes and any capital gains taxes due will need to be paid. Um, in Spain, inheritance taxes are paid by the beneficiaries themselves uh, in accordance with their inherited share. It's not like it is in the UK where it's paid by the estate before it's divided between the beneficiaries. So the amount of inheritance tax payable will depend on the beneficiaries. So um, it will depend on their residential status and their relationship to the deceased person. Different rates of tax will be applied depending on who the beneficiary is. Uh, once all that has been done, then um, the, you can present um, the deed for registration at the land registry if there's a property so that that can be transferred into the uh, relevant beneficiaries' names. You can then present it to any banks where there's any accounts being held to release those funds. And you can also use it to transfer um, the title of any other assets such as vehicles into the relevant beneficiaries' names. It is possible to deal with a Spanish estate without actually having to go over to Spain. Um, if you give your lawyer a power of attorney to act on your behalf, then they will be able to deal with much of this for you, so you won't actually have to go over to Spain. They'll be able to um, pay the taxes on behalf of the beneficiaries and sign some documents on behalf of the beneficiaries, so they don't actually need to attend in Spain or at the Spanish notary, which can be obviously helpful and can be a bit of a relief to a lot of people in the situation. So as long as you instruct a reliable lawyer, they will be able to prepare a power of attorney to do this and arrange for this to be signed for uh, use in Spain. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you need any assistance in uh, contacting a lawyer in Spain who is able to deal with inheritance matters, then don't hesitate to contact Worldwide Lawyers. We deal with lots of uh, Spanish lawyers all over Spain who have lots of experience dealing with matters such as this. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Thank you.